Welcome back. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our first reading today comes from the prophet Isaiah, and he speaks in just sort of general terms of how God is going to restore brokenness. We've talked about that quite a bit in this season, and so um, hopefully you've got some of those images or God has spoken to you and given you some graces and that idea. Maybe this is a good day to revisit them. Uh, but at the end of this passage, we're given a beautiful image that is referenced a lot of different times by a lot of different speakers. So maybe you've heard it at different times, and of course you would have heard it proclaimed occasionally at Mass, especially for those who go during the week. But speaking of God's love for us, can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? And even should she forget, I will never forget you. And so the first part of that image is, and hopefully we all come from good, healthy, holy families, that we have good parental love for children. And if we don't have that in our families, hopefully we have parent figures that were with us growing up. Um, if not, then we pray for those who are going through similar circumstances as us, that God may help them because we know what that pain um, can do for us. But knowing what that image at least could be, even if we didn't fully experience it ourselves, it's a great reminder of how much God loves us. It's the way in which a parent is always there in that relationship we have. And of course, Christ tells us we need to be childlike. And so we see the mother always wanting to take care of their child. We also see the child wanting their mother. What does everybody want when they get hurt, when they get sick, even when they are older? They want their mother. Mother has a special place in their heart. Uh, you even hear this from certain soldiers at different wars, that when people and soldiers are dying, they cry out for their mother. And these great moments of need, we want our mother. And God says, I will be there to take care of you in every one of those needs, every one of those circumstances. And then knowing that, unfortunately, our life isn't always perfect, and some of us come from those broken images, even should she forget you, I will never forget you. So even though this great fundamental relationship is a, a great for, way for us to understand God's love, it's also his way of saying, my love is even greater than that. As awesome as that might be, and maybe as great as we may have experienced in our own lives, God loves us even more completely and more absolutely. And so just a beautiful image for us to sit with, especially maybe in the midst of our brokenness and hopefully as we're receiving some of God's grace in the midst of this season. Uh, then our gospel, John chapter 5, a little later than what we had yesterday. Um, but again, our Lord getting us ready for that bread of life. And uh, we have this beautiful insight or starting to give an insight into the Trinity where Jesus equates himself to the Father. People want to kill him for that. But I want to encourage you, maybe go back, pray with it slowly, and allow some of those images uh, to speak to you. But Jesus says, if you've encountered me, if you listen to me, you've encountered the Father. My Father is speaking through me. And if we're fulfilling our job in the world, then the Father is speaking through us. And, you know, even as I'm doing these reflections, I hope that they are not my words. I hope that they are God's words spoken through me for you to be a moment of grace, because this is the vehicle he is using to convey his grace to you, at least at this time. Um, and he's meant to do that with each one of you, for the people entrusted to your care, or in your circle of family, of friends, of coworkers, of neighbors, whatever that case may be. But in the heart of this, and this idea of all of that idea of cooperation with God's grace, he also speaks of eternal life. And so we go through all the difficulties, all the trials of this life, including especially this Lenten season, so we have eternal life. And this Lenten season is supposed to be a symbol for the rest of our life. And so just a great moment to remind ourselves of why we go through these penances, why we go through these purgations, so that we can have our hearts ready to receive God's love in its fullness when our earthly journey is over. As we continue in our Lenten journey, let us pray for one another. God bless.